Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a tool that has been, has taken the world by storm, really. Um, it's a tool that a lot of people have been using and myself included because it has been very helpful. And um, that tool is none other than ChatGPT. So before we dive off into this video, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Also, um, for anyone that is looking for a list of ideas of passive income products that you can use and that are, that are money making, and um, you're looking for some ideas, I have a free swipe file that you can get access to. Um, there is a link below the video to head over to get access to that swipe file. So you can definitely go and check that out. But let's dive into the video. So as I stated, guys, uh, ChatGPT has really been um, taking the world by storm. There's a lot of people that have been talking about it. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a lot of videos that are out there about this tool. So um, what I wanted to do today is um, I actually had a call with um, someone and shout out to you that came in where um, someone mentioned that they were kind of struggling with keyword research. And so I figured that this would be a good opportunity to take some time to show you how you can use ChatGPT in conjunction with another with some other free tools that I al that I always use to do um, to find niche ideas and then also to go over to Amazon to validate those ideas because you know ChatGPT can spit things out to you but you still have to go and do the validation for yourself. Okay. Now I also want to caveat and say this as well. I think a lot of people think that tools like ChatGPT and MidJourney and all of these tools are just going to, you know, make it super duper easy for people to, to spit out things and put anything out there. And that's just not the case. As I've stated, you still have to go and do your research. You still have to go and make books that look epic, um, books that people, you know, would want to pick up and buy. You still have to put the work in. So I'm going to get off that soapbox, <laughs> but I am going to show you guys really quickly um, some, some easy ways that you can find niche ideas using these tools, okay? Or using ChatGPT and then validating with Amazon. Now, the tool that we're going to do the validation with, and it's a couple of tools that we're going to be using, three tools actually, um, is going to be number one, Amazon, the AMZ Suggestion Expander. Um, number two is going to be the DS Amazon Quick View tool. And then number three is going to be Corvin Van Stone's uh, tool over at Self Publishing Titans. He has a BSR checker that basically will tell you, you know, how many how many search results there are for a specific niche, how many independent publishers there are in that niche. And then it's going to give you a niche score to kind of help you determine whether or not it is uh, a good idea for you to go after that specific niche. So, but let's get off into this video. So the first things first is we're gonna head over to ChatGPT. And there's something over here that is in my way <laughs> that is blocking me. But over in ChatGPT, what I'm gonna do is, for example, we're gonna come up with a subject idea. We're gonna start with the power of one. So what I would suggest for you is when you're looking for a niche, right? And you're looking for, you're trying to do keyword research to see what kind of product you can create. Think of one type of person that you wouldn't mind creating a book for. So for me, the subject that I'm gonna use for our example today is going to be a teacher. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna head over to ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it for a list of low content books that teachers use. And then we're gonna go over, based on the, the information that it gives us, we're gonna go over to Amazon using the AMZ Suggestion Expander tool to validate those specific niches, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I am in the back end of my chat GPT um, dashboard, whatever you wanna call it. And what I'm gonna do is down in here is I'm going to put in a um, prompt that I had came up with to where it spit out the information that I needed. And so basically what I'm asking it to do is give me a list of five types of low content books for teachers, okay? So I'm gonna hit enter on that. And then it's going to give me a list of these books. Now, I will tell you that, um, you know, ChatGPT will give you, you, you probably sometimes have to do some tweaks. Um, but um, th this is the prompt that I used that did work and it did give me the information that 
I was looking for. So as you can see here, it is saying that, okay, here are five low content books that can be useful for teachers. So number one, you have a teacher planner. You have number two as grading logs. You have number three as attendance registers. You have number four as student information forms. And then number five as a behavior management form. Now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do one. I'm just gonna do one today. And that's going to be the teacher planner niche, right? Or the teacher planner book. So what you wanna do is based on the information that Chad GPT gives you, we're gonna just copy teacher planner Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Amazon and we're going to use the AMZ suggestion expander tool to look and see what comes up using this specific type of book. Okay, or what comes up for this keyword. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in here. And then as you can see, this is what is coming up. And then I'm going to hit space. All right. So I hit teacher planner and I hit space. As you can see, teacher planner is coming up for a lot of different keywords. So this tells me that this is a very active keyword that people are actually coming and typing into Amazon and is giving us that information. So as you can see, um, AMZ suggestion expander is telling us that teacher planner 2003, 2004 is something that people are looking for. Uh, teacher planner undated is a keyword. Uh, teacher planner rocket book i would avoid that i'm not sure what rocket book is but um it's something that you definitely want to go and do uh, look up on trademarks to see if there's a trademark around it but i will probably avoid that because it seems a little too specific teacher plan uh, sorry teacher planner aaron condren definitely avoid that because aaron condren has a huge brand behind her and i don't want you getting sued uh, teacher planner six periods substitute teacher planner now this is getting even more niche and this is really good so substitute teacher planner a montessori teacher planner a teacher planner blank and let's go over some more teacher planner for men there's another one a teacher planner for classroom so you can see that there's a lot of different uh keywords that are coming up in the amz suggestion expander tool now i'm not going to go through each one of these but you can see that there is a lot of stuff and like look at this one teacher planner and gratitude journal so i just wanted to show you guys like how you can get the ideas from chat gpt and then come over to validate this now what we can do we're going to take this a step further is once you find a keyword that you know sticks out to you for example one that sticks out to me is substitute teacher planner so what I can do is I can say, okay, I'm going to click on this and I just want to see how many search results are going to come up with this. And then also, you know, what are the BSR numbers? And then what is the, um, what kind of competition am I looking at? So I'm going to let this finish populating because this is the self-publishing Titans BSR keyword niche uh, score tool that's going to give me some more information about this specific keyword. So when this pops up, um, it's going to give us some data, but as you can see so far, I can see that under um, this specific keyword, it looks like there are 341 results. So there's not very many there. So that is good. And it's niche down. So we went from teacher as the main seed uh, subject idea to teacher planner as the kind of keyword. And then we niche down even more to substitute teacher planner. So you see how that kind of goes, but that's basically what you want to do. And so what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down and um, we're going to start looking at some of the substitute teacher planners to see if there is something here. Now, here's one right here that was created um, in October of uh, 2021. You can see that the BSR is kind of high right here, so um, it's not selling as regularly. But let's keep going um, because the keyword niche score actually looks pretty good. So you can see it's at a 43. It's not exactly at a 50. Um, I would just say that this can kind of depend you know if you feel like that you can make something that really can stand out and you know um that you can you know whip it up and make it look really really good make it look pretty and um all of that good stuff and you feel like you can really stand you know make make something that's going to sell then you can definitely still target this specific keyword okay but let's go ahead and keep looking so we have that one that has the polka dots on it uh we have let's see what else okay this is a really really cute one i love this Oh my gosh, I love this design. This was way back in, um, I don't know if this is a, I don't think this is a planner though. <laughs> I think this is a book. So we're going to skip that. That doesn't count. All right, so let's keep going and see what else we have here. Okay, we have this one. I think this is an FBA product here. 
And then we also have uh, this one over here. We have this one here. All right, but I do see that the BSR numbers are pretty high. And like I said, that honestly is to be expected for around this time of year, because as I mentioned earlier, the school year really doesn't kick off until around August. So again, the best time to create or the best time to create a teacher planner would be around June. So it's just something to think about. All right, so we're gonna look down some more, see what we see here. And I don't really see any independently published books. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up here and then I'm gonna do independently published. I think I spelled that wrong, independently published. Because we only wanna look at the independently published books. And oh my gosh, as you can see, <laughs> there's a lot more competition, but let's see what we have here. Okay, so it's saying 2000 results. And I'm in the all category. So what I want to do is I want to switch over to books and let's see what comes up. Actually, let's just do substitute teacher planner and let's do books. Okay, so there is, wow. All right, so you see, this is another reason that I've learned to do both the research on the, um, on the books, I'm sorry, on the all tab and then on the books side of things. So you can kind of see here that when you go under all, there's not many search results, but when you go under books, there are more search results. So you can see that under books, there are 2,550 um, search results that are coming up for Substitute Teacher Planner. And so I would recommend to you guys, again, to do both, to go under all and both, because you will get search results on both. And so that's really gonna be telling on whether or not it's something that you can, you know, that you wanna go, go and target. But as you can see, these are all of the um, books that are independently published, I think, um, that are coming up for a substitute teacher planner. And the BSO numbers are high. So this is telling me that um, this is something that you could potentially target, but I would only put books out for this one closer to June to get ready for August, if that makes sense, right? Um, this is not something that sells evergreen. And so I just don't know if um, if that will be worth it. Now, here is something right here that is very interesting. So this one is actually selling pretty good. It has a BSR rank of 183,969. Um, it is independently published. It was published in August of 2022, which was last year. So this is a substitute teacher notes notebook. Um, so you can see it's for all grades, it's the end of the day notes. And so um, it looks like this one is selling. So let's keep going here and see what else comes up. All right, that looks to be the only thing to me. Okay, so substitute teacher planner would not be something that I would go for at this moment but it could be something that you could go for um, and create products around or around the June, um, June, July mark, okay? On the June, July months, because that's when, again, teachers are gonna be, get, you know, everybody's gonna be gearing up to go back to school. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go take a look at one more keyword uh, based off of what it's giving us. So we have teacher planner that we looked at. So let's look at teacher planner, oh, I'm sorry, teacher grading law. So let's look at that. So we're gonna go back into here and we're going to do teacher grading log. Okay, so we'll do teacher grading. Okay, so they have teacher grading book. All right, so here's another keyword that is coming up, right? So we have teacher grading book. We have teacher record book for grading and attendance. Um, these are all of the keywords that are coming up. Now, one that sticks out for me that is a, a no is a good niche is going to be teacher record book for grading homeschool. There's a lot of teachers that are a lot of people that are homeschooling their kids, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and let's just take a look at this and see what comes up as um, the results. And then uh, we're also going to check books as well, right? Because we're going to check all in books and that's just how I've been doing it these days. And it really does give you some good data. Okay. So under this one, we have, let's see, niche score of 23, but let's go down and let's look and see what we have here. Okay. All right. So this one is really, really pretty. You can see that this is a floral teacher record book, grading book for teachers. 
All right, so teacher record book for grading. Okay, they have a lot of keywords in here. I wouldn't have stuffed this with a lot of keywords, but this book is really pretty and it definitely stands out and it does have some good reviews on it. All right, um, they have another teacher record book for grading right here. Teacher record book for grading right here. Here's another one that was created last year. Okay, so we do see that there is a niche here. Now, what we wanna do to even further validate this is go into books and then we just wanna see what comes up there. Okay, so still just 750 results when we come under books. So this is an example of a keyword that I could potentially target and make some books around, all right? So let's go down and see. Now, again, the, the bestsellers ranks are kind of high and that's because we're not in the school season right now, guys. So that's why it's kind of high. But I can almost imagine that when school starts, these are really good. This number is really going to start to drop. OK, so we're going to go down and take a look at what we see. All right. So this book is coming back up and I think it really is pretty. Uh, this one is coming up as well. And then you have some more down here. So this one is selling. It's not selling as much, but it is making some sales. And then you have this one. The BSR is very high on that one. OK, so on and so forth. Now, here is a homeschool planner right here that is definitely selling. You can see that the BSR is really low. That's really good. So this is a homeschool planner and essential organizer. So let's click on this and just take a closer look to see what this looks like to get some ideas. Now, this one would be definitely hard to compete with this specific product because they have over 1100 ratings. Um, you know, the BSR is really high. They probably are driving um, ads to it. But let's take a look at it and see what it looks like here. OK, so they have the A plus content, which is very smart. If you guys are not doing A plus content to your books, you definitely should do that. It really does help with conversions. And then it also helps you to showcase your book's interior to, again, convert more people into buying from you. So let's take a look at even more. OK, so here are some of the other books that they have available, which look really, really good. You can tell this is a more on the feminine side. So this is good. And then down here, they have a lot of reviews. OK, so these are all the customer reviews. And uh, I think this is really, really nice. So, so that's pretty much that is how I go about or how you could potentially go about, guys, um, going into ChatGPT to get some ideas for low content books based around a specific subject. And if you guys want to, you can take the prompt that I use. You can do give me a list of five low content books for X. So maybe for uh, cat lovers, maybe for dog lovers, maybe for uh, moms, maybe for dads. You can take that and you can use it and you can let it give you information. You can take that information and you can head over um, using the tools that I'm going to put links to below to validate those niches. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly just, you know, how you can use ChatGPT to do keyword research or to come up with niche ideas and then go validate those niches. So I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of my rambling. <laughs> but this is the process that I use to do my keyword research and then validation from there. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. I am going to be coming out with more videos that talk a little bit more about AI and some of the things that I'm using AI for, specifically for ChatGPT and then also for MidJourney. So I'm really excited about the MidJourney video. So you guys stay tuned for that one and um, take care and I'll see you guys around. Okay. Bye.